Hello, and welcome to our poster presentation. We, the Center for the Integration of IDEA Data, or CID, are excited to share with you how we have and will continue to leverage feedback from the field to inform current technical assistance practices to best meet the needs of states. When it comes to improving IDEA data integration efforts through intensive hands-on technical assistance, CID recognizes that it is essential to identify the various ways and means by which states meaningfully engage in the work. One way in which CID continues to innovate is by leveraging the expertise and experience of those in the field. Examining both quantitative and qualitative data, we are sharing how states' voices have resulted in tailored and refined technical assistance practices, thereby ensuring a more meaningful level of engagement. During this presentation, we will touch upon three examples of SID's innovative te technical assistance practices. First, we'll discuss an example of a state specific approach deployed by SID to get the wheels of generate implementation and data integration turning. Next, the establishment of technical office hours surrounding new releases of the generate tool. And finally, the formation of SID's sustainability work group, which will serve as a launch pad for further collaboration and community building among states. Let's make our first stop on this continuum. When it comes to the technical assistance services provided by CID, qualitative data sourced from states revealed a need for TA to meet states where they are at in their implementation process, as well as provide more than one avenue by which they could approach integration. As CID has matured, so have the TA services provided. And one example of this can be found in the state of Colorado. In Colorado, upon request of Generate, SID subject matter experts helped the state team identify their use case, which revealed an opportunity to leverage SID and state resources to streamline implementation. This was achieved by the SID team conducting in-depth documentation reviews and technical trainings for the Colorado team, thereby fostering a greater sense of ownership in the work. To ensure questions could be raised and addressed promptly, a regular cadence of scrum meetings were established to discuss CEDS mapping, identify blockers, and address ETL questions. And while Colorado is largely owning their implementation, we, CID, want to ensure a level of accessibility for states, achieved by providing ad hoc support via various avenues. Which leads us to our next stop, reviewing state feedback surrounding technical capacity. Historically, CID has engaged the field with longer form activities, such as hour long webinars or virtual events spanning multiple days. However, survey data collected revealed a preference for shorter tip sessions and breakouts to address questions of a technical effect. Additionally, multiple states have expressed the challenge of updating technical documentation, such as ETL checklists, which has led CID to establish a targeted TA effort surrounding new generate releases. Generate technical office hours coinciding with new generate releases are facilitated and moderated by SID developers. These office hours present states with a unique opportunity to examine upcoming changes and the rationale behind those changes, pose state specific questions and address technical needs, and hear from their colleagues in the field regarding potential technical hurdles, roadblocks, as well as innovations which leads us to our third and final stop on this continuum concerning sustainability within states. In a survey distributed to recipients of SID TA, which included items concerning the focus of SID's TA services, states expressed room for improvement on the front of sustainability preparedness. Seeing as this is one of our pillars of effective technical assistance, SID has prioritized cultivating a culture of sustainability within states surrounding data integration efforts by organizing a multi-state convening in which the primary objectives will be to engage in state-led discussions regarding the maintenance of the necessary technical capacity to sustainably use generate to enhance the collective understanding of the factors on which sustainability relies and perhaps most importantly to build a community or network of sustainable states thereby further maximizing opportunities for cross-state collaboration. Now that we've identified the what and the how of SID's tailored approach to TA, let's address why it matters.
SID's adaptive approach to providing TA across a continuum of needs and integration efforts brings a host of benefits to the forefront, including enhanced data quality resulting in improved services for children with disabilities and their families due to more informed decision makers, an established model for collaboration and communication with SID subject matter experts that can be emulated by those in states to assist in ongoing and future data integration efforts, and an improved capacity within states to actively and efficiently respond to and engage in EDFAC's modernization efforts. With that, our presentation on SID's tailored approach to TA has concluded. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about how SID can meet your state where they're at in their special education data integration process, please contact us at SIDTA at AEMCorp.com. From all of us here at SID, thank you and have a great day.